Hey Teal Tears, how you doing? This is Alex. Today we're going to look at Titan Linux. What is Titan Linux? Well, let me tell you. Titan Linux is a Debian-based stable branch distribution recently created, and it was created on with the KDE desktop, Plasma desktop environment installed. However, it is a customized KDE Plasma desktop, and it's stripped down to be lightweight. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what we think. And here is their web page right here. Uh, it's hosted by a Wix uh, site.com. So uh, it's got this weird tech cafe 757 Wix site.com Titan Linux uh, address. But what I did is I Googled it and it was the first search that came up and I clicked on it and it brought me to this. Their website is nice. I like, I love the artwork that's on it. Very beautiful. Uh, it talks a little about, about it. So let's go ahead and read it here. Welcome to, Li to Titan Linux. Titan Linux is an all-new distro built on a Debian stable branch. It's a fully functional yet minimal KDE Plasma desktop experience, focusing on usability and performance with a wide range of hardware support out of the box. This distro is designed with the user in mind, eliminating dependency on certain meta packages, making it a more stable system overall. Titan Linux is a truly unique approach to Debian experience. Uh, here it talks about how it's a... Uh, customized KDE Plasma desktop uh, that has been stripped down and making it a little bit more lightweight. Uh, it uses the Calamari's installer as it shows right here. Uh, it's also very lightweight as it shows right here. And also this is the part that makes it kind of unique is the Titan toolbox that that they've baked right into it, kind of like your MX tools. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful little tool system that uses the Incursa style uh, tool to, to do what it needs to do. So here uh, is what their webpage looks like. Uh, it's got a tab for forum, blog, and if you want to contact them, you can contact them through there. Let's go ahead and uh, load it up in a virtual machine and take a look at it and see what uh, see what it looks like there. All right, so this is us logging in, and this is exactly what you're welcome with. There's no welcome window or anything at all that pops up with it, um, even though it uses Carmelis installer. Uh, which is usually traditional in those situations and a lot of other softwares do that software installations do that as well However, this distro does not that being said, let's go ahead and uh, dive right on in shall we? So if you look at this, it's got a beautiful wallpaper. I really like it It's got your standard KDE panel at the bottom with your app launcher your quick launch uh, Icons there for for software that you use every day. Uh, it's also got on the right hand side your system tray notification uh, as well as your time and date. It's got an icon which they've added for your trash and your power session manager. So if you click on the launcher, it's got under development, it doesn't have a lot in there. It's got translation, also QT5 assistant icon browser and designer by QT5. Under graphics, you've got uh, image viewer and a screenshot tool. Under internet, you've got Firefox ESR. Under multimedia, you've got VLC media player only. Under office, uh, yep, just a PDF viewer, no office suite at all installed. In settings, you have a grub customizer. You've got a system settings, which is your standard uh, KDE 5 system settings where you can customize your global theme overall, plasma style, you know, just what KDE is about being 100% customizable. So we'll go ahead and close out of that and go back to the launcher here. Uh, we will look under system. In system, it uses the Discover Software Center, which is okay, kind of like Octopi or Pamac. It's got the Dolphin File Manager. Once again, Grub Customizer is here. Uh, HTOP is installed, uh, KDE Partition Manager, Console, the System Guard, which is the uh, system monitor. Let's go ahead and click that and take a look and see what we got for our load under our system load. Wow, very light. Maybe 2% of my CPU used. Ah, 3%, yeah. As far as memory is concerned, we're looking at 0.65, which is just a little over a half a gig of RAM. Once again, lightweight, uh, right out of the box for use. So uh, then it's got UX term, Yak Wake, uh, and X term, and Muon Package Manager under System. Now, under the Titan Toolbox, this is what really makes it a little different that they've baked this in, kind of like your MX Tools. Uh, in your uh, MX Linux. This is got community support, which takes you to their 
I'm sure there, yeah, Discord forums and website. Um, under utilities, uh, application terminator, you can clear your swap. Uh, if you need to free that up for whatever reason, hardware information, uh, restart your network service, you need to restart net manager. Also your uh, plasma, if you need to restart that. Uh, under advanced tools, you click on there, it opens this up. You have to put in your root password because you're doing something at a root privilege. Oh, and this is where you are updating Grub and you're installing backport kernels or un uninstalling any unused kernels, which is nice. So we'll close out of that and we will go to app tools. I'm pretty sure that that is a tool where you can configure apt D or D package manager where you can yep, repair it clean it or dump the manifest um, there so there's that and then let's go to tweak tool that i think installs yep neo fetch into a terminal and configures aggressiveness of what you use swap so i mean it uses end curses which will allow you to tweak a lot of different things as far as software is concerned that's probably going to let you install the non-free software like your dvd codecs um nvidia proprietary drivers which are now open source i believe so uh, a lot of that switching but either way you can also configure your firewall so and then under utilities um you've got your arc archiving tool emoji selector file light uh kcalc and kfind so uh for firefox i'm pretty sure it's using a older version of firefox since it is on the 510 kernel uh, let's go to here let's go to help and click on about and yep 91.12 so it's a little bit more outdated but yet stable which is what it's about uh, for the file manager to start standard dolphin file managers we spoke earlier got your usual locations on the left hand panel that you can go to uh, as well as it opens right into your home directory discover software center we all know what that is but we'll click on it just to show it it's that it's like octopi pamac whichever you choose but either way there's that and then console let's open it up and see what neo fetch looks like all right wow that's kind of trippy that it does neo fetch like three times it launched three times let's close that and try that again see what it does see if that does it again three time thing one two three yeah weird i wonder why it runs a script three times that's crazy i wonder if there's a glitch in their little end curses thing where it wrote it to the bash rc file three times so you could definitely uh, edit that, but at any instance, there it is. As you can see, um, let's see, let's see if we can make it bigger. There we go. It's using Titan Linux version 1.2, so it's still in its infancy. Its code name is Cronus. It's using the Bash 5.1 shell. Uh, theme is Dragon, and it is using Plasma 5.20, not the 5.25. Uh, it's also got for the terminal font, which is different, it's got the hack 12. It's using only 805 megabytes of my virtual RAM. So, of the eight gigs that I've given this virtual box. And it's got six cores running on it. So that's pretty lightweight. So you could definitely use it. I know that in the uh, InCurses app repository, you can install the 32-bit versions for the extra software. That'll give you the 32-bit versions there. So you can use it on older machine and have a more current up-to-date running software on it which is very very nice so i guess uh that's titan linux in a nutshell guys uh do me a favor comment below what you think of it uh comment what you think about this video if also you are already using titan linux comment on anything that people should know about uh, in what they're doing with it uh also uh let us know uh, what you feel uh, as to uh, any customizations. What I do suggest, like I said, uh, if I haven't said it, I can't remember, but if, as I said, is to use the Nala front end for the command line for the app. It will add a lot to this as far as parallel downloads and uh, history, and also the fetch. You can fetch the fastest uh, mirrors. Uh, to install packages with and it, it'll also the color that goes with it is in the design that it has is very beautiful which will go with this distro quite well so any at any instance please visit us on our social platforms we're on instagram twitter and facebook uh, at the linux tube on those guys and also we're the linux tube at patreon.com and visit us at our e-commerce web store that sells t-shirts hats all kinds of apparel window and home decor, uh, cups, water bottles, 
etc. It's the Linux tube dot shop, the Linux tube dot shop. Visit us there, support us there as well. Thank you guys for all that you do. Hey, we've reached a hundred subscribers as of now. So we're reaching milestones on this channel. Thanks to you guys. So you guys keep having a great day and keep on Linuxing.